Northern Alberta is believed to contain more recoverable oil than the total reserves of Saudi Arabia. It exists in oil sands deposits, 20% of which can be mined and 80% that are too deep for mining. The deep deposits are produced by flooding the oil sands with steam. Did you see a sample of the bitumen, the raw bitumen in that jar? And getting it off my hand. Yeah. So. API sponsored a tour for bloggers and reporters recently at ConocoPhillips Surmont location, where steam-assisted gravity drainage, or SAG-D, is used to produce about 20,000 barrels of oil per day. There are 10 well pairs, uh, meaning a steamer and a producer, down along that, um, uh, that run of piping. There's a producer that brings uh, the bitumen out of the ground, and there's an injector uh, uh, that takes the steam from the CPF and, and puts it into, uh, into the ground. The vertical well is about 1,000 feet down, and it kicks off about 3,000 uh, feet. The steam's necessary because the, the consistency or the, the, the viscosity of the, uh, of the fluid is, um, is like a hockey puck. It's solid, so you need to, uh, to uh, bring that, uh, that temperature up so it flows uh, to surface. After steam is injected into the wells, the oil can be pumped to the surface. Sometimes natural gas is injected to improve the flow. Then when the oil is out of the ground, the water and the gas are removed and the oil is diluted. Then the water is treated and recycled. About 90% of it is reused for steam. So it's one great big circulating loop and part of, the biggest part of the, uh, the process and facility, we're just a big thermal plant so we've got so much heat we do a lot of heat recovery into the processes, into the vessels, so it's very tightly connected on everything we do. You need one part to do the other part, one big circle, one big daisy chain. Surmont has a smaller environmental footprint than mining. The facilities are built for easy removal and they're placed on a thick layer of gravel that can be removed and reused. Even the housing for the workers is portable, allowing for the entire area to be replanted with native grasses and trees. Alberta's oil sands account for less than one-tenth of one percent of global greenhouse gas emissions, and they supply almost two percent of the world's oil. Having this resource on America's doorstep helps U.S. energy security. This is Jane Van Ryan for Energy Tomorrow.